The ASIX Gel Cumulus 25 is a mid-range neutral daily trader, and previous versions were designed to be versatile workhorses which could be used for every type of run. But this version is different. I'm Brandon with Running Shoes Guru. I've run over 80 kilometers in the Cumulus 25, and this is my full review. In the past, the Cumulus was one of the most popular ASICS trainers because it was widely available, it was affordable, and it was versatile. However, three years ago, ASICS launched the Nova Blast. And the Nova Blast was a better daily trainer because it was lighter, it had a more exciting ride, and it had more energy return. So while the Nova Blast gained popularity and sales, the Cumulus has been left in the dust. So ASICS needed to reposition the Cumulus and that's exactly what they've done with version 25. The Cumulus 25 has a super soft ride and it's the first Cumulus that actually feels cloud-like. It's also the softest mid-range neutral daily trainer to be launched this year. The ride is comparable to the Nimbus 25 which is $20 more in terms of softness but the midsole is a little bit thinner, so you get more ground feel, but you get less of a rocket ride. I enjoy the Cumulus 25 for easy or recovery runs because there isn't much bounce or energy return from the midsole. But it feels really plush and it's great at absorbing shock. The amount of cushioning that you get is impressive considering it only weighs 9 ounces or 255 grams for a men's US 9. The outsole has a new flat design and the outsole rubber recedes into the midsole so you get smoother ride transitions than previous cumuluses. Traction however is a bit disappointing especially on wet surfaces. The outsole is relatively durable so you'll get a good amount of mileage out of the Cumulus 25. The Cumulus 25 is built for comfort and I enjoyed running in it and wearing it casually. But the downside is that there's a lot of padding around the collar area and the tongue, so it's a warm shoe. Foot lockdown is excellent and I experienced no heel slippage. I found the fit true to size, but it's got a narrow forefoot and midfoot, so if you have high volume feet, you'll need to go up a half size. I think the Cumulus 25 is an excellent update. Not only is its midsole thicker and more cushioned, but it's over an ounce lighter than the Cumulus 24. It's not as versatile as previous versions, but if you want versatility, you can get the Nova Blast for the same price. I think the repositioning of the Cumulus is a successful one, because with the Nimbus Lite no longer around, the Cumulus 25 is a worthy replacement for those who want a lighter, cheaper, more flexible daily trainer than the Nimbus. Compared to the other mid-range neutral daily trainers, the Cumulus 25 is the softest of them all. So it's not as versatile, but it's got a plush maximalist ride, and it feels like it should cost more than its $140 price tag. Let us know your thoughts on this vastly different Cumulus version down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.